takes us to item number 13, which is actions as necessary appropriate on matters discussed in executive session. And we need a motion on item 3B, which is selected employment item shown in Exhibit A. Do I have a motion? Ms. Bumgarner. I move that we approve selected employment items as shown in Exhibit A. I have a second. Mr. Haltawonga seconds. Any discussion? See none. All those in favor, please raise your hand. And that passes unanimously. That brings us to item number 14, which is the second and final reading of proposed new board policy IKADD content and credit recovery and the administrative rule IKADD-R content and credit recovery. Also credit recovery app the application all shown in exhibit B. Do I have a motion? Cates. Mr. Gant. Mr. Cates. I move we give second and final reading a proposed new board policy IKADD content and credit recovery and administrative rule IKADD stroke R content and credit recovery and IKADD stroke E credit recovery application as presented in exhibit B. We have a second. Ms. Hammond seconds. Any discussion? See none. All those in favor, please raise your hand. That passes unanimously. Brings us to item number 15, which is second and final reading of proposed new board policy IKFC, employability credential and administrative rule IKFC-R, employability credentials, all shown in exhibit C. I have a motion. Mr. Haltwarner. Mr. Chairman, I, I move that we approve the second and final reading of proposed new board policy IKFC employability credential and administrative rule IKFC-R employability credential located in exhibit C. We have a second. Ms. Hammond seconds. Any discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor, please raise your hand. That passes unanimously. That brings us to item number 16, which is the first reading approval of proposed revisions to board policy KBB, parent rights and responsibilities shown in exhibit D. I have a motion, Mr. Cates. I move we give first reading approval of the proposed revisions to board policy KBB, parent rights and responsibilities as shown in Exhibit D. We have a second. Ms. Hutchison seconds. And do we have anyone that's going to lead us in this first reading here? We've had the discussion. I had a question. I had a question, yes. Ms. Hammond. Okay. Um, the, <clears throat> on the page, I, I see that this kind of that light purple is the recommended policy. That second page where you've highlighted intermediate and when possible is a highlighted area added Dr. Melton or is that something you're taking out? Uh, this is actually Dr. Harris's policy, so let me ask Dr. Harris to clarify. Okay. Dr. Harris. You are correct. The recommended is in blue. It should be blue, but uh, the highlighted yellow are, um, are in reference to recommendations from the last discussion that we had. I think um, I had information from uh, Mr. Cates as well as uh, Ms. Bumgarner <clears> in terms of things that we would want to add or, or make certain that we include. So, <coughs> came out so of the discussion. yellow is an added from our last From our last, last conversation, discussion. that's okay. correct. Thank you. Any other question? I got one on that. Okay. Did we do the, to attend when possible parent, teacher? <coughs> Sorry, Ms. Skin, I've got a bad throat. <coughs> um, in other words, Dr. Harris, when a parent doesn't come, do we have much, I mean, and I imagine that's why we put when possible, because sometimes they really can't, and then sometimes it's real sad, they just don't. Um, what's our, what's our follow-up to that? Do, do we, maybe you just try to talk with the parent by phone? Well, I think there, and there's several different things that we would attempt to do. Um, one is we make use of our um, um, uh, email communications, our newsletters from schools, uh, certainly from our district uh, communication department. That's one form of communication. Another, obviously, form of communication is direct communication by way of attendance. Um, 
um, I think those are the, are, are the things that we would exercise and implore when parents cannot attend for various and sundry reasons, whether it's work or, or lack of interest for that matter. Yeah. Uh, and I would also go so far as to say that even with our support, uh, service staff, uh, when they are meeting with parents in different groups, their home visits and so forth, that's a, yet another opportunity to communicate um, uh, information that, that parents would need to know. Thank you. Yeah. Any other questions? See none. All in favor of giving first reading approval of the parent rights and responsibilities shown in Exhibit D, please raise your hand. And that passes unanimously. And that brings us to item number 17, which are the proposed superintendents 2018-2019 goals, all shown in Exhibit E. Uh, 